Welcome to MH class. Today we'll discuss about the new topics linear programming for class 12. Okay, let's see linear programming. So linear programming, it is a method. Linear programming. What is linear programming? It is a method used in decision making. Used in decision making in business. What right? you are using in business for obtaining the maximum or minimum value of linear expression obtaining maximum linear value of linear expression subject to the satisfying certain given linear inequations that should be satisfied with certain linear inequations ok. So, what is linear expressions? Linear expression expression is another way to the objective function here what is the objective to our functions here the linear expression is used as objective function ok and linear inequations that is the linear constraints the limitations some linear limitations are there that limitations are called linear inequations or linear constraints ok. So, basic terminology is used in LPP what are the basic terminology are used in LPP in linear programming. So, first one is the linear constraint what is linear constraints already tell to say about the linear uh, inequations the linear equations is the linear constraints or limitations. The limitations on the resources can be often be expressed the limitations that is the limitations on the resources can be often be expressed as, as expressed in the form of linear inequalities linear inequalities known as constant linear constants that is these are in the form of linear inequalities ok. Objective function what is objective function the linear function of the involved variables which are a linear function of the involved variable which to be ma maximized or minimized subject to the given linear constants subject to the linear constants which to be maximized or minimized maximized or minimized but it should be subject to the constraints subject to the constraints that is known as the objective functions and it is some it is generally written as z is equal to a x plus b a objective function where a b are constants and x y are decision variables x y are decision variables ok. Next thing say optimal value what is optimal value the maximum or minimum value of an objective function the maximum or minimum value of an objective function is known as as it is its optimal value ok. What is the maximum or minimum value of a objective function that is called the optimal values of the function Fe feasible solution feasible solution it is the set of it is a set of values of the variable satisfying all the constraints it is a set of the values of the variables satisfying all the constraints whatever the constraints are given it should be satisfied all the constraints optimal solution what is optimal solution it is a feasible solution which leads to the optimal value of an objective function optimal value of an objective function this is called optimal solution optimization problem what is optimization problem it is a problem it is a problem which seeks to maximize or minimize a linear function subject to certain constraints as determined by the set of linear inequalities ok. It is nothing but a problem which seeks to maximize or minimize which seeks maximize or minimize a linear formulation function subject to a certain constraint subject to certain constraints as determined by the set of linear inequalities. Next is linear programming problem linear programming for LPP a special type of optimization problem a general linear programming a general linear programming consists of consists of minimizing or maximizing an objective function subject to certain given constraints subject to certain given constraints. Here finding the optimal values of an objective function of several variables subject to the conditions that the variables are non negative variables are non negative and satisfying linear constraints ok satisfying the linear constraints. Next see different types of linear programming what is the what are the different types of linear programming we will get in this chapter. Manufacturing problem manufacturing problem is what is the manufacturing problem problem determine here in this type of problems we have to determine the number of units that should be produced 
and sold in order to maximize profits in order to maximize maximum profits when each product requires a fixed manpower fixed manpower machine hours and raw materials okay but uh, profit is maximum this type of problems next is diet problems diet type problems determine here in this type of problems we have to determine the amount of different kinds of cons constituents or gradients kinds of gradients to be included in that diet minimizing the cost here minimizing the cost here there is maximum maximum problem uh, in case of manufacturing problems uh, maximize the profits here minimizing the cost and set, subject to the availability of food and their prices subject to the availability of food and their prices okay next term is the transportation problems transportation problem the less cheapest way of transportation determine the transportation schedule to find the cheapest way determine we have to determine the transportation schedule to find the cheapest way of transporting the product from a plant or factory situated at the different locations to the different markets so these three types of problems we will get in the lpp linear programming problem one is manufacturing problem one is diet problem and is another is transportation problem in manufacturing problem try to make it maximum profits in diet problems try to find out the uh, kinds of constituents subject to the availability of the food and the prices and transportation problems to find out the cheapest way to transport the materials products from factory to the markets okay method of formulation of Math, mathematical formulation of LPP. Math, what is the mathematical formulation of LPP? The conversation of the verbal dis, description of LPP. Generally, it is given in the description the, dis, description way. That we have to converse to math algebraic in equations. Algebraic equations or in equations is known as the mathematical formation or mathematical formulation of LPP, which is converts to the mathematical formulation that is called mathematical formulation of the LPP or mathematical formation. Now, see here working rule for formulation of LPP, how to formulate an LPP. Step 1, identify the decision variables and determine the, to determine and express them as x and y. First, we need to identify the decision variables, what are the decision variables? Okay generally we will assume as x and y. Okay. Step 2, identify all the limitations that is constraints in the given problem and express them as a linear inequalities or equations in terms of x, y, etc. Okay. Step 3, what is step 3? Identify the objective function z, we need to identify the objective function z which is to be optimized that is maximize or minimize and express z in terms of x and y we have to express z in terms of x and y so these are the three steps to formulate the lpp procedure that can be procedure the solutions of a given lpp should be divided should be divided under the following heads step 1 preparation of the table of information we can make a um, table of the information okay Step 2, write down the decision variables, we need to write down the decision variable. Step 3, form a objective function, first we need to form a objective function. Next, write the, down the constraints and write down the mathematical formulation. These are the step, step there are 5 steps, first one is preparation of table of formation of information. Second is write down the decision variables, what are the decision variables you have to do. And second is uh, form a objective functions. Then next is write down the constraints and next is write down the mathematical formulation. Now see one problem then it will be clear to you. Example, a company a company produces two types of goods A and B that requires gold and silver. Each unit of type A requires 3 gram of silver and 1 gram of gold and while that type of B requires 1 gram of silver and 2 gram of gold. The company can produce a maximum of 9 gram of silver and 8 gram of gold. 
these are the points you have to remember. If each unit of type A brings a profit in rupees 40 and type B 50, formulate the maximize profit, Form, we need to formulate the maximize profit that we need to find out. Okay. So, first we can make the table for information. So, type A and this is type B, this is what in gold, this is silver we can say or silver gold, first is silver, second is gold. Okay. So, what you can say? Three gram silver, type A, three gram silver and one gram gold. Three gram silver and one gram gold in gram. In gram. Type B requires type B requires one gram silver, two gram gold. So two gram gold, one gram silver. Okay. This is the table. Total profit is how much? In type A means profit is rupees profit what is the profit 40 rupees and here is 50 rupees ok 40 rupees and 50 rupees type way so type way we are assuming type way x number of goods and type b y number of goods. So, let x be the number of goods we will write let x be the number of goods of type A and Y be the number of goods in type B. Z is the Z is a profit Z is the profit. So, this is the Z is what objective function. So, Z is equal to what? Profit is 40 x, so 40 x plus 50 y, this is the objective function, this is the objective function. Okay. Now, this objective function is to be maximized, is to be maximized. under constraints what are the constraints what are the condition first condition is what see in the gold a is x b is twice y so x plus twice y gold how many 8 gram of gold maximum 8 gram of gold so what we can say x plus twice y x plus twice y must be less or equal to 8 this is number one constraints okay second constraint silver silver a is 3 b is y so 3x so order light 3x plus y maximum silver is how much 9 gram of silver 9 gram of silver so 9 gram maximum it is not minimum so if it is maximum less than or equal to 9 so this is second number constraints and one thing is that this is the number of goods number of goods cannot be negative so what we can say x is greater than or equal to 0 y is greater or equal to 0 these are the constraints so this is the formulation okay of lpp this is the answer so in this we have to formulate a lpp this is the subjective that is con this uh, given in the virtual statement, virtual statement, and this converts to the mathematical. That is LPP formulation. Okay, that is the answer. 
I hope all of you understand. If any doubt, let me know. I will try to my best to clear your concept. In the next class, we will discuss how to solve the LPP. Thank you. Have a nice day.